Hello, smoker. Drago on wait, that's not right. Anyway, I've got this Mac Pro, 2009, and I'm gonna make it into a NAS. Stuff it up. In there right now, I've got four drives, G original GT120 and RX570, and two Xeon X5570s, quad core each, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I don't have the SSD bracket I'm going to be using to for the brute drive yet, but I do have the four one terabyte hard drives I'm going to be putting in those four bays, and I do have a Blu-ray drive I'm going to put at the top for ripping Blu-rays for a Plex server. So, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to be removing the RX570 in there. Because I don't need it. Because it's going to be a ZFS server. It doesn't need video. Right now, at least. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to pull out these drives and install my new ones. This is an original Apple 1TB, 2009. So let's boot volume on it, and I'm going to be recording some data off of it, but I wouldn't trust it. This is the SSD I'm going to be using. It's currently in a 2.5, 3.5 inch adapter I got on Amazon for not a lot of money. It's eventually going to go in a PCI riser card down here with a SATA controller on it from OWC, so I can use all four of these bays for hard drives. This is a Seagate Barracuda 1TB made in 2014. I'm not going to be using it, but I will save it because it might work well, who knows. Finally, this is a Hitachi 1TB made in 2012. Might work, I don't know. Now I'm going to install my new drives, starting with this one and get rid of it. Original Apple drive out. Here's one of the drives I'm using. Factor 2018, Seagate. One terabyte. Alright, yep. First new drive in. Gotta do all the others. I gotta take this one out. Cheap adapter I got on Amazon. Alright. There's that. Save that for later. I'm going to be putting this drive in there, Seagate, 1TB, Barracuda, made in 2021. There we go. There we go, drive number two. I'm going to put this Western Digital, 1TB. This one was made in 2017. Three. Get drive four removed. Get this drive out of here. There. The last Western Digital one terabyte. This one's in 2016. Hope the video quality from this old camera is acceptable. I haven't really used it much. It's from 2007. It's an old 60 gigabyte hard disk camcorder. It technically records 1080p, but it's like 1080 by 1440 instead of 1920 by 1080. So it's like a little bit less resolution. And it's stretched to widescreen, so I don't know how it's gonna look. Anyways, this last drive. Put these back in the Mac Pro. done. I'm gonna need to get the PCI card for the SATA. Go back find a bit, but what I can do now is install this Blu-ray drive. Got a, whoop, here's 
anyway. It's all this Blu-ray drive. Got it from the store. It's basic LG thing. Got it cheap. That's the reason I got it. I don't know if it'll work very well on this Mac, but I might as well try. I can rip it with a Plex server or something. I can rip Blu-rays. It's got M-Disc too, which is supposed to be good. It's like archival or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's try and install that. Yank out this entire bay, which never wants to come out. There we go. The Apple drive in it. It's got to yank the cords out the back. They're a combination like SATA and SATA power. And we got this. We're back to the floor. This in, but first we're gonna take this one out. Don't really know how to do that. Oh, the screw's here. Okay. Nope, I need my small screwdriver. There it is. There, there. Shit. Take my small screwdriver. Yank out some screws. They do come out, which means I have to keep track of them by putting them right there and then kicking them over. That's how it goes. You always lose it when you don't keep a tray, but I'm too lazy to go out and get a tray, so I to hope I don't lose it. Get out of there. Oh, they have stairs in the back for people like me who lose them. Nice. I wish I was a plus one. than the ones that are on the other side. New. No, they're the same. That one's either tight. I don't know if that other one was up with. Alright. Now this is an Apple branded drive. Which means that this might not work. I don't really know. HL data storage. Hitachi. DVD rewriter, Apple spec, very generic looking in the front. Doesn't have a tray door. I'm gonna have to remove the front panel off this maybe. Probably should, just in case. Oh. Okay, I found a paper clip to get this stupid thing open. I need to get this door off though. I assume it's as simple as just popping it off. A lot of patience, I managed to get all this off here and now it fits fine. Time to put it in. Alright, the holes line up. That's my screwdriver. Put it over here. Screw it in. That was a lot more pain than I thought it would be to get that stupid drive in there. Rains are coming, that's for sure. Get this side. I don't need to more comfortable position, this sucks. Just 
one. And this is a special one. Two. Okay. Took way longer than it should have, but it's in there now. Alright. Let's see what's in there. It was in like that. Put these cables in. Now, in theory, that should work. We'll see later. That's all I can do for now. Wait, nope. I can get this RX Mercedes out. Um, okay, get this out. Working on this is a pain in the ass. Because you gotta take out. Uh, the camera. Working on this is a pain in the ass. Because you gotta take out these two screws. Actually, those are fun screws. You gotta take out these two little spring loaded screws. Where's the other one? I can't really see what I'm doing. And then, before, don't try to get the cards out now, you gotta take over here. Can you see that? You cannot. There's a little button here. I'll push this back. And then you have access to the card again. So I'm going to yank this out. This is my RX 570. I'm not gonna be using it because this is a server, it doesn't need it. Eventually, I might get a card that supports HVENC, so I can do ZFS video encoding. ZFS, ZFS video encoding on the server, so for archival, because HEVC is much more space efficient. So eventually that'll be a thing, but for now, this is going, I don't even know where I'm going to put this. Maybe sell it, I don't know. And I've got the uh, dual 6-pin power adapters here. It originally had a 4870 in there, which gobbled up tons of power, and I removed. Because this guy here... Oh, 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 adapter on the back. This guy here, the GT120, will be able to run Linux just fine. I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm going to be putting OpenBSD on the... Not, fuck no. Not open to a steel. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna be putting Debian Electron on this. Put this thing in without seeing the slot is in, but is that in? I think that's in. It's not in. There we go. Now it's in there. I can put my adapter in the back. I have a I have a DVI to, to HDMI adapter on here, so I can use it on modern displays. Put this back in. It's the wrong way around. And drop it. Come on. bottom card slot is just going to be empty for now because there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have anything to put in here. I'm going to get this stupid thing back in. It's always a pain in the butt. I put it in backwards. I think I put it in backwards. Trying to do this around the camera and not being able to see it is a pain in the butt. That is for sure. Alright. Back in place, we can lock that back. And that should be all I can do right now. Once I get my SATA card, I'll be able to 
put my PCI SATA card in there and then put my SSD on there to put it in one of the bottom slots so it gets the most performance. And that'll be it. In the future, I may upgrade down here. The CPUs and RAM are down here. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and dual X5570s, so not the, high, the highest processors that are available in 2009, but not the highest that can go in this machine. And the RAM can go way up, and ZFS likes to just gobble up RAM. So yeah, basically I'm going to put my SSD in there, and then set a RAID Z1, so I have four 1 terabyte drives, I'll get three terabytes of usable space, and in one drive I'll be able to fail. And I'll use this as Plex server, NAS, whatever I need a server for, really. Slot this back in. And put the side panel back on. And that's about it for now. Until I get that SATA card. So. I'll be back when that's done.